Tasted.com. Today on MadeForTaste.com, we will be re reviewing some cheese from Baby Bell. It's a French brand. Um, this is the original Baby Bell, original in the red, and Baby Bell cheddar in the orange. You and and I heard you saying before that you had these as a kid. Yeah, I think this is one of the things that we had in our lunch boxes. Yeah, I think they're quite popular with kids. Yeah, it's either this one or, you know, the smiling car, the triangular ones. So let's pull them out and then we'll we'll check and see if they're mini. Yeah, so definitely. Mini. What's interesting about this is um, just before we shot this, I had a look at the ingredients and they're exactly the same. However, the orange one is meant to be cheddar, so I'm really interested to see um, what the difference is. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's check and see if they're certified mini. And we've got our limited edition Canadian $5 note for checking if they're certified mini. Oh, it's like the Australian dollars, like the new $5 from Yeah, Australia. they're made of plastic. Um, it's certified mini. Well, yeah, you can fit, how many baby bells can you fit under? I reckon you could fit three, fiber. maybe six, not yeah. quite six. Yeah, all right. All right, so let's see the color of the cheese. Okay. So the original Baby Bell is sort of like, um, would you say it's like a Gouda cheese or something along those lines, or yeah, Emmental cheese, if I'm pronouncing sure. it right. Um, but it's, you know, yeah. it's really mild flavored and it's hard cheese, obviously. And you're opening, oh, okay, so it's the wax on the outside. Yeah, so it comes in the wax and you peel. It's got like, a little tap there where you you peel there you the go. Wax. Ooh, la la. And then that, that it's opens very interactive. Ta-da! So it's there. And then... It's perfection. That's it's, a beautiful it's, it's orange. Very, it's very cool design, isn't it? I'm going to have a sniff. Yeah, you're jumping the gun. It's got, right? mm, it's got very nice... Oh, my mouth is watering already. Okay. So then we have the... Voila. Put it in the middle the, of the camera. Uh, original, so sorry. So... It's like Pac-Man. They look pretty similar. Uh, all right, all right, cool. So color-wise, they do look very similar, don't they? Mm. Um, Texture-wise, it's very similar as well. So let's see whether there's any difference in the taste. Okay, so let's uh, pop this over here. We'll cut off a slice. Ouch. You can have the, the larger slice. All right, I think we'll try the original first, just yeah, to see. good point. Just to say. So that, am I right to say that it's cutting a bit softer under that original? Uh, feels similar, maybe slightly softer. Doesn't this remind you of those Korean rice cakes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. So, chin chin. Are you having literally the end of it? Yeah, chin chin. Okay. Mm. Mm. So oh no, I think our dog and cat just had a little fight, so we're gonna separate them for a while. They're right now. Um, mm. Smells? So it's quite it's sharper than I expected to, to, to be, right? It's um, it's more of a kind of a... Mm. Mm -mm. Take me back to my childhood. Give, cut me another, another wedge, shall we? It's got a little bit of a kind of a bitter aftertaste, which surprised me. Oh, um, yeah. But, um, but yeah, it's just like, um, it's a, a little bit like Kraft Singles cheese. Like it's it's got that yes. sort of vibe. That yeah, prepared cheese, it's... it's is kraut pleasing cheese yeah. and I guess it's something that children would like because it's not yeah. too strong um, mm, maybe it's the rennet the rennet that gives you that I'm, yeah. not, I'm not sure I'm not a cheese person well I lie you like cheese but I don't know exactly what creates flavour in cheese though so should we do um, mm. should we now try the cheddar see yeah. if it's different all right chin 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 oh chin chin, chin, chin. okay has a slight mm. smell which is a bit sweeter. Mm. A bit sweeter. Mm. Yeah, it's, bit it's a sweeter, sharper. I can find it. I, I find it smoother. Mm. I think you need to cut me oh, yeah. a proper chunk because yeah. the slivers, there's not how people eat cheese. Like, oh, actually, yeah. give me a chunk, not a slice. Check it out. So, yeah. So, uh, so bossy with the cheese cutting. Okay. Yeah, give me like a uh, half of that. What that? Go. <laughs> Jesus, do you want to have that? No. There. Much better. Now I can actually taste the cheese. Not a sliver. 
Mm. It's very bouncy cheese, so it's not. I wouldn't call this a traditional cheddar, would you? But maybe I'm used to having really sharp English style. Oh, no, you're right, though. So I just taste them back to back. Mm. The cheddar is a bit sharper. Mm -hmm. um, not quite as, um, mm. yeah, this one's a little milder. Well, that's the same one. The, the, the cheddar, right? Yeah. Can you cut me in like a similar size? Mm. Why don't you just put the whole thing in your mouth? Well, I would, but I'm holding a camera, unfortunately. Um, all right. Mm. Yeah. So, the original has a um, distinct soft and pleasant flavour. And the cheddar is similar, but it's got a sharper tang to it. Yeah, and, and I think that the, um, I like the, the finish of the mm. cheddar a bit better. It's not quite as, uh, quite as bitter on the finish. Mm. Um, I didn't, I didn't really pick up on the bitterness, but uh, it's interesting that you said that. Okay, mm. so let's, um, let's give them a score, shall we? Yes. So what shall we score with today? I think in the spirit of French cheese, we're going to be scoring with beret bits, which is the little bit that sticks out of the top of a beret. You mean the beret button? Well, that's not a button. What are the ones that have a little stick that pops out of them? Mm, okay, I know what you're talking about. Let's call them beret buttons for the okay. sake of today. Mm. All right. So can you can you would can you um, keep your mouth free of cheese long enough to uh, to score? Is that is that possible? Mm, maybe. All right, go for it. Okay. So um, I'm going to score them individually. Um, and out of ten beret berries, berry but berry buttons, yeah, mm -hmm. ten berry buttons. I'm going to go with the original. I'm going to yes. give it a six. And with the cheddar, I'm going to give it a eight. Wow, okay, so with Baby Bell, this is original, I will be giving it a seven. Yep. And with the cheddar, I'll be giving it a nine. Okay. All right. So we both agreed the cheddar was better. Yeah, so I'm just wondering whether there's other Baby Bell flavors out there that we're not sure of. If anyone has tasted any, we'd love to hear about it. All right, thanks guys. Bye.